Who else did you have uh, uh, Words and rhymes, they're, they're out of my city as well. And they're, they're really good with their syllable, syllable wordplay. Yes, yes, very proper track, very proper track. Definitely expressing a lot of, you know, about the game and, and what's really going on here. I heard that one line about, I would never spit on any of P. Diddy's ridiculous hits. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, I mean, definitely, it's, it's I mean, the, success the state of hip-hop is... I'm not hating on him, just the, the, the songs that I think made him successful, I just, really? Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 I feel you, I feel you, I, feel, I, I liked yeah. him better when it, when it was like, uh, well, the, the, the flashy and the, what was that track, oh man, with all the lights in the background, Puff Daddy, it was called Puff Daddy, wasn't it? I don't know, but his old stuff was a lot better than the stuff. It, it happens with every mainstream artist, I think. Their older stuff yeah. is so much better than the once the corporate hands get like c coming in there and and dabbling yeah. and stuff. Messing with it. Yeah. yeah okay. Music industry these days, man. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough. <laughs> it's, it's going, tough. it's going sideways really fast, and then it's going down even faster. So. But. So what are you what are you doing to ride through that? Yes. Same. <laughs> Being same original, same. staying the same. Staying how I was, like, to my understanding of hip-hop and, like, the whole essence of rap music itself because it, it's it's from a, it's from a core of, of the planet that's, like, the reporters and cameramen don't want to go to, you know, so we'll bring it out to you for you to see. Yeah. And I think that's what's happening now is everyone's got out that it's like, oh, what are we going to do? Keep staying here, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like... They just get lazy, this is what's going to make me a couple more million dollars, and then it's just like wrap it up, and I don't know, I just see it that everyone's losing touch with, with the creative element of it, and I plan to never lose that, I never will lose that, I will never change for nothing for no one, because it's, it's pure in my heart that what I write and what I put out on tracks is, is exactly what I feel, and I think that if you put out anything that you feel, then it's real. Yeah, yeah. and people are going to feel it too. Yeah. Definitely. Yes, yes. Definitely. So what uh, what do you usually touch on then? Like, do you just do you keep oh, it to your man. personal life, or I do you say, say, just spread it out to beliefs or politics or everywhere? All, all of the above. All that, of that would be my answer on the multiple test question. Then. <laughs> 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 yeah, I basically I, I I just stick my pen in my heart and, and and go with it. Like the the composition of sounds, like the elements that make up a track without your words on it. Um, I look for stuff that's like theme music. Like it gives me. A sense of like, okay, this is kind of dark. Like, is is there something that I can add to this that makes it a complete painting, or is it just gonna stay the paint and no brush added to it? So, I try to do things like that, or in a sense of like, if someone asks me to get on their track, I usually want to know, like, what what their plans are, what their concept is, what's the overall picture that you're trying to paint? Because if I can't see myself in your painting, I'm not gonna put myself there. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Um, like for example, like a couple of songs on my album, it gets real personal, you know, and it's like because I feel that if I make myself transparent, um, I'm easier to read and people connect with you that way as opposed to like, I'll only show you this much and then take as much money as I can from over here and just like completely like, you know, shite on people. It's just not, it's not right, so. Cool. Definitely. Yeah, and then I got my, you know, I really don't like these lyrics, these songs, but this is what's going to get you spins on certain radio stations, so I just, you know, sing along <laughs> like a lullaby, move my hands like a puppet, and then it's like, go back, because that, that's the advantage of being independent. No one's got a string on you except for the string that you put there, mm -hmm. and you move yourself. So that's that's my whole focus on it right now, It's just to try and keep it as real as I can keep it. That's good. That was yeah, stepping yeah. outside of myself. <laughs> For sure, for sure. So how long you been doing this this hip hop thing? Hip hop itself, I, I started like doing graffiti when I was a kid. You know, I was stealing spray paint cans and stuff. But um, I'd say like I spent my first freestyle when I was like probably 15, 16 years old. So a long time, a decade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave it there, a decade. And um. No age. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, but I uh, know. <laughs> but I uh, know my my childhood friend from my neighborhood. Like he um, he for some reason kept telling me like I know you can do it. I know you can do it. And you know, cause guys were cipher and having freestyles, and I just stand there and watch. Like no, I can't. You know what I mean? And then he just he just pushed me one day, and I happened to bump into some you know some hardcore dudes, and they kind of looked at me like, why are you bumping into me? And then they just automatically assumed I'm part of the battle now, and they attacked me. And then it just something sparked in my head like, all right. I can rip you apart with words too. And from there it just kept going and going and spread like a plague through my city to the point where like 
people from other high schools heard about me and they'd like take the bus down to Cameron Heights at lunch just to find me because they want to like end the hype <laughs> and I'd be like coming out of class and like five of my homeboys are like yo these guys are here from Fort Sykes they want blah 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 and I'm like it's lunchtime, man. It's like I'm trying to eat. <laughs> so we end up going to the cafeteria and kicking off, and some some things got violent, some things didn't. I never aimed for violence, you know. Yeah. If you can't keep yeah. it on just the simple fact that it's one of the truest essences in hip hop is the battle, competitive nature of it, you know. And you shouldn't really get in this. Just stay gang banging on the streets. Don't try and rap and gang bang and in the come up because it's I don't know. I just don't see a point to that. Definitely. I feel that for sure, especially watching a lot of the battle raps that go on in like King of the Dot and stuff. But the thing that I realized is like, and I think me and Molly were talking about this before, is the artists don't seem to have the problem as much as their peoples. You know yeah. what I mean? It's the peoples, once the peoples get involved, yeah. and it's like your peoples versus my peoples. It's like they want to like, because they, they're not spitting, right? They're not yeah. the guy who's doing the spitting, so they got to do something while well, they got to like <laughs> aggravate the other, you know, crowd and like push them on, egg them on insult them, you know, actually physically push yeah. them and then it and then it, you know, gets out of hand. But yeah, at the same time like, bad egos in the same rooms like yeah. and so yeah. vinegar. It's just they don't mix. It is, <laughs> it is still an, an an essence and a true part of hip hop, so it's that's a good thing that you you've got that background and that battle yeah. ability to That was my whole spring. upbringing with it. It was like the freestyle, like you like someone would pull up to the ball court and they had like a decent system, you know, and I'd run over there and be like, yo, put this instrumental CD in, and they'd be like, all right, you know, and everyone would crowd around a car and it was just like me on his hood, you know, and it was like 20 guys stopped playing basketball just to hear what I had to say, thought it was like the dopest thing ever, we went back, played ball, and then, you know, the next thing you know, it's like next weekend you're at a house party and someone knows that, oh, you're, you're so and so, and it's like, yeah, 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 and it's like, oh, let's get a couple guys together, let's go in the backyard and, you kick know, it. smoke yeah. one and kick it. So, I mean, that was like the whole thing for me that I really tap back into sometimes when I'm writing rhymes nowadays and then I think about just like the other side of my life that was corrupt as well but <laughs> you gotta buy the album to hear that word up so what is the album title that you can give to the fans out there what uh, is that the piece of music they can go up and get like we're gonna do two for one here because um, okay. I'm trying to do something that's different but it's kind of like an original marketing scheme because I'm gonna put the actual album out you know, and then I'm going to do, like, my first ever mix jack, which is, like, a mixtape of all jack beats, the yeah. hot songs and, like, that are out currently right now, and then, like, old beats from, like, songs from, like, 90s, early 2000s, and it's just, like, the beats were so hot, I wanted it, you know what I mean? I wanted it for myself, so I took it, I wrote my own stuff on it, recorded it, and threw it back out there for <laughs> free, that's all cool. for free. So you're going to get, if you buy the album, you're going to get another CD that's got, like, another 15 to 20 more tracks on it, absolutely free, just for the sake of purchasing the original created art so the just nice incredible nice. lp is, is basically this uh denomination of welcome to the league volume three because it's the third one from like the whole series of like sports and, and competitive nature and, and rap music together that's why i called it welcome to the league you know so yes, yes. the mixtapes is is definitely what you you don't want to put out in the mainstream part you want to put that out like on the internet and underground and like with the railroads and stuff because like that's the stuff that people will search to find mm -hmm. and really dig up because they heard it somewhere or someone had it in their car and you know that's what i'm trying to get at i look at the, the business side of it now too so definitely it's good yeah. to have that side because well you kind of have to you need it. <laughs> if you want to be in it right now you know it's, it's kind of necessary so. yeah so uh anyways well what up <laughs> Actually, important fact, my very, very first show ever in my music career was in this city. Really? At Where Boo, at? At Boo Radley's. I opened up for Ghetto Concept. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, it was uh, May 3rd, 1997. Wow. So, I mean, you can That's tell cool. how important it was because I remember the date. <laughs> that, was, that was back when they had that big track, Slamming uh, Too Much. They had that track mm -hmm. just dropped. So uh, We should play was, that on here sometime. Yeah. yeah. Gonna bump some ghetto concept. Yeah. 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 But now Robbie G's are another reason to come here. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, it's well. uh, holding it down on the glow scene, just trying to to get the music out there. So you were saying that just incredible. Because yeah. I've I've been referring to you a lot like Lil J, and that was like the, the name that I was first yeah, introduced yeah. to. But then I seen that posted somewhere. You're like Justin Incredible. I'm like, yo, that's a dope name. I told my yeah. manager, and she's just like, because <laughs> his, his your real name is Justin. Yeah. So it's like just incredible, but it's like. Yeah. Like just incredible well, the, the and Justin that's credible. You'll see, <laughs> yeah. you'll see like the graphic design will actually have just incredible, but it'll have I N C in cap locks. So it'll it'll look like like incorporated. 
That's the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. That's so there's so it's, much it's to that the name. business and the hip hop rap alter ego in the same logo. And uh, now Just Incredible is like the graduate because like Lil J was like the, the teenager going into the twenties and, and all that stuff in and out of jail, in trouble with you know drugs, law, friends, girls, you know, and then it's like. Uh, my music just kept maturing and maturing, like to the point where people like listen to it now and they're just like, like it's on a different level, and that's why I keep it all surfaced, like and stifled right now because I don't want it to get out before it's it's supposed to, and uh, so we just said let's 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 just go with Just Incredible now because it's that's what it is, you know, life, music, it's Just Incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. a really dope name, really dope name. Yeah, for sure. So we'll keep it Lil J, AKA until like the actual release. That would be like the official turning of names and all the egos. So New right beginning, now, kind of. You know, I'll hang up my little J Airbrush shirt <laughs> <laughs> in my bedroom closet and just be like, ah, that's a good run, bud. <laughs> so have you have you changed your your style for this for this yeah. album? Yes, like, I it's, have. Is, is it's a I, new I name, took, a new. Yeah, I took a lot of time to go back and, and listen to everything I put out from like the '90s to now, and I really was just like, I'm bored already you know and i kind of was like let's search let's search let's find like find the, the tracks that were strong and then find the tracks that like i, I kind of was like okay we gotta don't even finish playing that skip it skip it because mm -hmm. i had a couple of my homeboys in the room with me and they were saying the same thing like if they pointed out oh i really like that one when you put that out remember at this time in this place in this party and i'm like yeah so i took all the ones that had the strong points and then weak points and then i found something in between and just said okay let's start right here and that's why, like, so you're gonna get, like, you're gonna get some singing, you're gonna get some fast rap, you're gonna get some slow rap, you're gonna get some real lyrical wordplay, and then you're gonna get some basic rhymes that just make the biggest picture anyways. So, um, that's what I did. It took a long time, ten months, you know. Well, so. good things take time. It's good to yeah. just perfect it. That's good. Yeah, let's hear another track off yeah. this album here while we're doing this. Um, yeah, we can go into, like, uh... Club love. Club love? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, no, no, club love. Uh, okay, let's play club love. This is this is actual. This season I call it the dark season because the sun's not as long anymore. People just want to drink and party, so may as well make a song that's themed for Fridays and the yeah, dark ages. So sunshine on a track. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good track. It's a bomb track, you know. Mo deserve. And uh, it was uh, featuring an artist from Las Vegas by the name of Gravity, and nice, it was produced nice. by uh, Mr. K. A. And uh. It's nice to do business with a producer from Massachusetts because, like, you get an American sense of things too. And yeah, like, Ka is big. Ka is yeah, very big. We used and, a lot uh, of his big beats back in the day. And so we worked out a, a couple business arrangements, and we got them flying in sometime for the video, if that's gonna work out. If not, there will be a video coming soon. But this is the actual first release that's coming in October, because I want to release it around Octoberfest, because that's when the city just. Is full of beer and just drunk, <laughs> crazy people partying from <laughs> Oktoberfest till March. Yeah. <laughs> Word up. Good. Yeah. All right. All right, well, let's hit them with it. This is Club Love on CFRU 93.3. Yeah. Just incredible here. Just another hustle. Live interview. 